Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Hollow and thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today what I got for you guys is another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 uh, video. We actually got the final release date for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 DLC 1 Awakening and it's not actually February 1st, we thought it was, but they actually just changed it. They revealed it finally, it's confirmed. It's going to be the 2nd of February, which actually makes a little bit more sense. It's on a Tuesday, which is, you know, the traditional release date for DLCs in Call of Duty and things like that. So, uh, we actually have a little bit of information about the four new maps as well as zombies. By the way, guys, it's going to be first on PlayStation 4 30 days later. As always, we already know it's going to be on place on Xbox, I'm sorry, and PC. Now, do keep in mind, you know, DLC for the for this Call of Duty now, it's it's not like I used to be. It's actually only maps. We only get maps on PlayStation 4 first, all right? Everything else, like DLC weapons and, like, camels, we all get it at the same time. So, just so you guys know, micro DLCs, it's all, you know, in the same bucket. But except for the map packs, then that's just a different story. PlayStation gets that first. So, we actually got a little bit of information about the brand new maps and the first one we got here is gauntlet we thought this was actually going to be a either a three maps in one you know or it was going to be a different map every time we played it but it actually we figured out that it's actually going to be three maps in one and each lane of this map is going to be a different setting so one lane is going to be a sprawling jungle another lane is going to be a sub-zero arctic zone and then the last one is going to be a rainy urban cityscape which actually is pretty damn cool i'm just you know intrigued to see how it is that we're actually going to be playing the map and then we jump into like a whole different dimension you know it's gonna be it's gonna feel weird probably but you know it, it's something pretty cool that it's never been done before and i'm really really excited now one thing i do want to let you guys know is that there is no dlc weapon for this map pack unfortunately they haven't said anything about it but i wouldn't be too concerned because they could probably just throw in new weapons you know halfway through the dlc like they just threw you know three brand new weapons you know before the dlc came out so they could do the same thing just as easily for just you know dlc weapons so don't let that bum you out too much so anyways we got splash by the way splash is an abandoned facility it's an abandoned water park and there is no water in the actual slides the slides are more you know used to actually just transition from one part of the map to the other although there is a lot of underwater engagements guys they said there's gonna be a lot of underwater gunfights you're gonna be able to use your underwater you know swimming abilities now to be able to flank enemies a lot you know as opposed to in other maps you know other maps have underwater parts but this map is going to have a lot of underwater areas where you're gonna have to use them towards your advantage then next up we have rise now at first we thought rise was going to be one of those other maps where not just me as a youtuber but other youtubers thought that it was going to be a remake you know for another black ops one maps but it appears hey it appears to be that it is not but it does look a lot like some of the maps in black ops one but rise they said it was going to be more like a traditional classical call of duty map and it was going to be uh you know leaning towards the whole esports side of call of duty black ops 3 and you know it's going to be cover to cover and things like that there it was going to be indeed an actual underwater portion of the map where you can actually use to flank to the other side of the map you know, it was said by one of the developers in this uh, trailer that i saw here moving on to the last map we got skyjacked and it is indeed confirmed which we already knew a remake of hijack from black ops 3 now skyjacked is actually it's the same exact map but it does have a little bit of a different part so like if you guys remember um when you spawn all the way in the back of the ship you know in in black ops 2 on the left hand side you had you know not where the boats were but where you had like the little pool in the back and things like that if you went straight and you went towards the left hand side of the ship you had like a little bridge well that bridge is now broken and it's literally you have two options you can either wall run or you know just jump all the way to the other side of the bridge or you can actually fall down and then you know burst jump your way inside and under the ship and you can actually flank enemies through that part of the of the map which is actually pretty cool and it does say that you know it's going to be exactly the same thing but obviously it's going to be a little bit you know different ways to explore the map you know thanks to the whole brand new mechanics of black ops 3 movement so i'm really 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 excited about that i don't know i don't know how it's going to play i'm pretty sure you know trek has not has not you know let us down so far so and then of course the last but not least we have zombies although i'm not a huge zombies player or anything like that i don't cover too much zombies um they are going to be releasing four brand new mega gumballs uh, for those of you zombie players that love just playing zombies so um now if you guys are interested in watching everything you know they have to say i'll link the the actual link to the video down in the description guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about this you guys can go watch the video then come here and comment you know what you thought about it I, i'm really stoked the only thing i'm disappointed about is that there is no dlc weapon i mean they did it in black ops 2 you know ghost and advanced warfare why they didn't do it here i don't know but again don't be too bummed out about that anything can happen they can just throw another weapon sooner or later so again i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comments what you guys think about this are you guys excited about the brand new dlc again if you enjoyed drop a thumbs up if you guys are new to the channel feel free to subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next video